All right, here we are at 401 Allen Avenue, Everglades City, Paradise, as you will see. There's a little sitting area, Mr. Kevin and Darren Dugan, prospective buyers. And uh, there's lots of little nooks and crannies around this house that this video is not going to be able to do justice, but you get an idea. There's a shed, a little golf cart, there's Craig's truck, there's a uh, little tent they got, maybe put a boat under there, all the little details of the buoys, lots of lawn art floating around this place. There's back towards the front, water's straight through there, one block away. Uh, landscaping's real nice. Guy's got all kinds of neat little boats and stuff like that, uh, holding plants around the house. Um, all the little trinkets and antiques in this house really are second to none. It's um, something to have to be seen to appreciate. <laughs> you walk in, see the woodworking, some stuff there, some moldings over there, and uh, come right in, sitting area. You get to meet Big Joe as soon as you come in the house, fireplace. All this stuff stays, it's uh, sold turnkey furnish, which is amazing. Um, the amount of time and effort it must have taken to collect this stuff is, is wild to me. Old pictures of Everglades City, um, some animals, old antique motors, uh, lots of nautical stuff, tons and tons of fishing lures. There's your bar set up, you can see the floor is done like a, uh, like a boat with the spackle paint on it. Um, TV's up there, bar, bar Dugan. Um, we'll go behind the bar for a second. That's behind the bar, facing back towards the front door that way. Kitchen's right through that door, and some of the bedrooms through that other door. Okay. Uh, probably have to watch this video a couple times to appreciate what it's got in it. Here's laundry room. Quick, quick reference to that. You know, nice storage, slant roof, and there's a door out that way. Okay, hot water heater, stuff like that. So I'm gonna roll through back this way. Some more pictures. Old Everglades City. Here's the kitchen. Okay, uh, kitchen passes through to the other addition to the house, the main, the other main living area. Wood slatted roof up there. You can see. Um, come back through. This little kind of connection room here is where the dining room table is. I'll show you the other side of the kitchen. Real nice cabinets, solid hardwood cabinets. Um, real nice motif of uh, the black lady cook and in the kitchen it really is when you start looking at some of these dolls and signs and stuff like that it, it really will knock your socks off again you got to come through and spend an hour or two in this place to appreciate all the little things it's got it's got a uh, pencil sharpener uh all the woods wood siding here in this this past the room it's got some uh some doors some accordion doors to close off if you want this is the addition one big room it's got the wains coating Wood slats all along the walls, carpet in here. Uh, this room could use a little new furniture, new TV for sure. It's got wall unit ACs, um, which is not great, but uh, there's another door out this way. I'll take you out there later. Looks like you add a little deck from onto that side, but you can see how big this room is. It's probably, almost looks like the size of a garage, 20 by 20, something like that. Okay, This is going to lead through to our hallway of bedrooms. Again, Wayne's coating, real neat, like kind of blood red color to the wainscoting. Sorry, that got foggy all of a sudden. There's me. Uh, super nice tub, huge soaking tub. Bathrooms have been redone. There goes back to your toilet, back there, back that way. Um, one bedroom here, it's gonna get dark. Uh, so I'll just go through real quick. There's one bedroom which connects to this other bedroom. So boom, boom, there's two bedrooms. That circle this way, back to the dining room, okay? Um, I'm going to go back through to the other hallway now. So this is the other hallway off of the, the main living area. I one bedroom here, a little bit of more of a nautical theme. Again, some nice antiques, fishing net on the wall. There's two beds in here, all natural wood floor. Um, down here it's got some, uh, some floor vents, which is kind of cool. Passes through to the other bedroom where Craig's pretending to work. Oh, see this? You got some maps. Cross the Mars River to Wiggins Pass. Oh, no way. That would be a nice trek. Take you for even eight hours to do it. It's actually got some nice faux finished wall on here, which is crazy. I can't believe they spent the money to do that. All the furniture stays, everything you see stays. So that's four bedrooms, okay? Here's the other bath. This bath has been redone too, okay? All tile, real nice medicine cabinet, um, real nice decor decorations, pedestal sink. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice tile floors. Couldn't ask for anything better. Okay, uh, this is the hidden door. I'll show you where kind of this is at. Hallway, two bedrooms either side. This is kind of your 
hidden door this redneck fish finder. Pots locked. Oh no, Craig put the thing on it. Sorry. This goes out the stairs, and that's your access to the attic. Huge access to the attic. You can store all kinds of stuff in there, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Can't ask for anything better than that. Um, sorry, I got bright there again for a second. Walking back out the front door. I'm gonna walk you around the house. Okay. I'm gonna go to the right side of the property first. There's a shed we saw again. Again, there's a little area over there. Just uh, look at some of these planters. Look at that boat smashed down in there with all the trees coming out of it. Nice wood wood shutters. There's a dish. It actually has this really cool mist away. Um, you can see one of the sprayers for it there. This is your main container for your mister for mosquito repellent and just uh, for mist to cool the place down. Yard needs a little bit of work. Um, there's there's an extra door that leads to the laundry room. Um, need to throw some of this stuff away, but the property goes. I'll show you that in a second. There's a little canoe. This is the back of the property. There's another shed. This is kind of the extra space back here. You can see how far the property runs back, right where that grass is cut. Um, neighbor's got it buggy. Gotta love that. So, continue walking around. That shed's empty. So there's more stuff there. Old, old truck has a planter back here. Look at that. Beautiful. Old baby Royal. They did some work on the yard, you can see. And then we're back on the other side of the house. There's another deck that leads to that new addition, a 20 by 20 room. You got good, good amount of space here. You can see the water straight ahead. Idea is maybe put a deck right off of this deck, raised up about four or five feet, so you can kind of like see the water, get a nice, uh, it's a nice patio set, umbrella sit out here, in addition to kind of the sitting area out this way as well. Uh, grass is actually real nice. This is actually that golf course grass, and it mixes with the Bermuda. But as you can see, I want to show you a couple of these planters. There's a sign that says Paradise on the addition. Back looking towards the house. Beautiful old trees. Some royal palms. Um, little hidden things everywhere. Little boats. A uh, little, little mile marker sign. And uh, just beautiful. Couldn't ask for anything cooler. I love it. I love it. Everglades City did well. And uh, that's it. I'll walk back, do a quick hand back this way of the property and that's it Everglades City Paradise